This week on Cannon Hall Farm TV, we're going to be moving some pigs. I'm going to have a look at the reindeer, see how they're getting on. And we're going to be saying goodbye to an absolute farm favourite. I'm going to miss him. Yeah, Dad's got a load of pigs that are getting near to farrowing, and we're just going to give him a hand moving them into the farrowing pens just so they can get acclimatised, get ready, and hopefully have a, a successful litter of piglets. Uh, pig board, you can't move pigs without a board. I'll show you. It's the book of Nigel and myself. Is it your Hong Kong book of Kung Fu? Oh, yeah, it's all the detail here that you need. I'll tell you what, it looks like a load of rubbish. Rocky and Zack and Rocky and Kane. And so what does that tell us, Rog? That's the, that's the name of the father. And who's the son? <laughs> Well, there's a lot of sums, actually. So when's this one due, Roger? This one's due on the 23rd. I'll get it. She's here and she's ready and she's... Go on, Flower. What are you predicting, Dad? Ooh. She looks like a few more than we know. I think she'll have uh, 17, 18. Are you using the, uh, the board correctly? You just basically pop it in front of, her, front of her eyes and then all she can see is a wall, so she goes the other way. Go on. Come on, Pat. She looks to have a belly full of piglets. Crunch. Well, they're imminently going to give birth, and we usually give them a little bit more time to get accustomed to uh, the surroundings, but uh, it's just taking it a long time to clean this particular place out because we've had other things to do. And uh, so, yeah, it's important we get them in there and give them a good week before they uh, give birth. The first litter. Big pigs for the first litter, these. So, this is the first time they've given birth? Yeah. <laughs> she outpaced me, but we've, uh, we've caught her up. Are these younger pigs always a bit more excitable, well, Roger? They've more energy, haven't they? Right, that's the last one. She's in a pen, she's settling down. We're going to try and teach you to be nice and clean, although we're not winning at the moment. There's time. Um, and hopefully she'll settle down and have a really wonderful litter of piglets. Hi, guys. Just like to say, these two reindeer, they're doing ever so well since the... Uh, Jeffrey and Prince, the call. OK. Sorry, guys. Jeffrey and Prince are doing ever so well since they came to the farm. Rob did a, a little bit of a deal, didn't you? You went down and uh, picked them up? Well, I bought them after watching them on, like, uh, what do you call it when you look at something on a, a live broadcast? All oh, right, OK. Yeah, basically, a Facebook live broadcast. The, the guy showed me them. I really, really thought they were special. Drove all the way down to Essex. We did a bit of a, a, bit of a trade. I swapped them for 30 goats, so we went back in time a bit. And uh, we just couldn't be happier with them. They've settled in beautifully well. My dad's taken to them like they're his best friends ever. Um, he's looking after them and they've just they've just prospered and I'm so excited I just, I just can't wait to see the uh, the reaction of the children for the Christmas experiences when they see real life reindeer Yeah, because what we're doing the tractor trailer ride's going to come past It's going to stop just there and the kids are going to have plenty of time to have a good look at the two reindeer Yeah, uh, and Prince as you can see is my favorite uh, I sing purple rain to him every morning when I come into the pen. Yeah, yeah Time to say goodbye to a, a very, very important cow. Who's going? Yeah, it's another of those bittersweet moments where uh, where an animal that's been really dear to us is uh, is moving on to pastures new. Um, but the, the the really pleasing thing is, he's off to be a, a stock bull. He's going to have a really bright future. He's going to hopefully produce lots of great cows for Tom. So we're we're really pleased about that. Uh, it's Roger, the white bull. The uh, it was sort of the uh, the prodigal son, wasn't it? He was. He arrived. He arrived, and uh, we were quite pleased about him. And uh, now he's on his way, but he's going to be uh, to do the job he's born for. So. I think. I think also the the thing that's really pleasing is is to find a good home for him because we can't keep him because we've got Jeremy, his dad. They would definitely come into conflict. They couldn't live together. So to 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 find another breeding home for Roger, he's really pleased, yeah. so well done. Thank you very much, yeah. Right, we're incredibly pleased. Tom here is having Roger, he's gonna be his stock bull, he's hopefully gonna produce him some wonderful calves and we couldn't be happier that he's going to uh, 
to a stockman in uh, it, such high esteem. Oh, that's it, yeah, we've got high hopes for him now. And, uh, we'll uh, winter him out, see how he goes on, and a bit of aftershave on in the spring and see what happens. I think they'll like him. Well, I hope so, yeah, it looks, looks the part, doesn't yeah. it? Just in time. Yeah. <laughs> Missed all hard work, Dave. Well, it's a sad moment that he's been an absolute uh, star for us. And to see him going up the ramp is uh, sad, but I'm so pleased he's going to a breeding home and hopefully he's going to be a star of the future. Right then, everyone, a really big thank you for watching Cannon Old Farm TV this week. We would massively appreciate a share to help spread the, um, the story of our family farm, or even a like.